Hi, and welcome to this special edition of Omni Edition Garden City. I am Dan York, along with me is City Manager Robert Murray. Thank you very much for taking time out to be with us here today. Glad to be here, Dan. We want to talk about the changeover from Republic Services to Rizzo Environmental Services in the area of our solid waste collection, compost, and ultimately curbside, voluntary curbside recycling. So uh, let's start right off because we are in the middle of this already and this all came together very quickly. Right now we're dealing with the transition of carts because we're going to go from Republic's carts to Rizzo's carts. And as people see this this week, we're right in the middle of that. Right, the, um, the transition started uh, last Friday, the 24th of June. And as you can expect with any transition, <laughs> uh, there are bumps, there are glitches, but uh, we along with Rizzo are, are working very hard to iron these things out to get uh, new carts to everybody in the city. Okay, and as Rizzo is delivering new carts, Republic should be taking their old carts that uh, after they empty the trash on whatever your regular trash day is, they then should be taking back their carts. That, uh, that was the plan, Dan. Uh, <laughs> it's not going quite as smoothly as we anticipated. Okay. Uh, because logistically, it's, uh, you know, it takes more vehicles to pick up carts and drive away with them. So, Obviously. Uh, Republic is lagging a little bit behind. They're doing their best. Uh, they've, uh, they've been working very hard. Uh, I have to give kudos to Republic, who, uh, even though they uh, have lost the contract with Garden City, are still fulfilling the contract honorably and they're doing what they can to assist in this transition. As we record this show on Monday, as you said, the people on Friday who had their trash picked up just, just before the weekend, if everything has worked well, they have had their brown cans collected and taken from them. If they haven't though, they should still leave those brown cans out by the street, right? Yes, they should. Uh, uh, Republic continues to try and catch up and pick up. Um, and Rizzo should be out today uh, delivering the new, new cans, which will be green okay. and bear a Garden City logo. Okay, so if your pickup is, well, if your pickup was last Friday, the theory is that you'll receive your carts today here on Monday. Yes. Uh, and then throughout the week, uh, depending on where you are, you may go a day or two without a cart, no more than two days. And if you do go more than two days, you should contact the Department of Public Service but or Rizzo themselves and that phone number is going to stay on this monitor throughout the entire program. Uh, but some people are also going to get their Rizzo carts before they uh, have the Republic cart picked up. You shouldn't use that for this week's trash pickup. You should make sure you save those for the July 1st trash pickup, which is this week, which is Friday, which adds to this confusion a little bit is that the end of the month did not coincide with the end of the beginning of the week. Yes, that that helped, and then throw in a holiday sure. on uh, Monday, July fourth. Right. Um, it's uh, it's really presented some challenges to us. <laughs> but uh, I do want to mention, since you referred to the phone number, uh, as we're all painfully aware, a mailer that went out to uh, all of the residents in the city uh, contained a correct phone number in four instances and an incorrect number in one instance. Sure. And that incorrect number seems to be the one an awful lot of people are calling. I think that was in and the I, recycling section. I just want to emphasize again that the, the correct phone number is on your screen. It's 866-772-8900. And everything we talk about here today, you can find on the city's website. There are links all over the front page of the city's website that primarily take you to Rizzo's website. Rizzo has set up a Garden City page with answers to all of the Garden City questions, as well as that flyer. That uh, mailer is also on the Rizzo page. So really, anything you do need to know, if you take the time to read it, you can find out from that Rizzo page. They have done a really nice job of, of trying to get this information out to the community, as we have tried to do, but you're reaching 11,000 homes it's difficult to reach everybody because some people, the city is not on their radar. It's not a thing for them. I've had occasion to uh, see some comments on social media, uh, which have been uh, critical of the, the city and the transition and failing to publicize it. And the fact is we've put it on Facebook. We have put it on cable. We have put it on our web page. Uh, we put it in the newspaper and we sent out mailers. 
in keeping with the philosophy that there will be bumps in the road, the mailers, we don't think really began hitting mailboxes until last Saturday. Friday, Saturday, oh, yeah. last Saturday. Uh, they were supposed to get there earlier in the week, but things happen. <laughs> and so, so if you see this program, if you've read this on Facebook, if you've seen this in all the places, please tell your neighbors because literally we're going to need word of mouth to make this work. Yep, absolutely. I know at the police department they began receiving phone calls on Saturday regarding stolen uh, trash bins. Sure. Uh, because they didn't know what was going on. Uh, and, and that's unfortunate. We, we, we felt the mailer would be the most helpful thing because that definitely would reach every house, but that doesn't mean it gets read at every house. Absolutely, absolutely. I do, you know, Rizzo, one of the things we're very excited about is Rizzo's focus on customer service. Uh, you know, the fact that they've made uh, so many things available on the internet for New Garden City customers and information. Uh, the fact that, uh, as you mentioned earlier, you might even get your can early. Uh, that's because Rizzo looked at what was going on and decided to ramp it up a little. Sure. And, and start pushing out cans ahead of Republic's pickup. So uh, we're, very, we're very pleased uh, with, with Rizzo's overall philosophy and attitude, and uh, we're excited about this. Now, one of the bumps in the road is that everyone will only receive one can. That's, that's for two reasons. One, the sheer magnitude of trying to get two cans out to people or, or knowing whether you had two cans before uh, is virtually impossible. Yes. The and the other, the other reason is because we anticipate if, you, if uh, the homeowner chooses to participate in our voluntary recycling program, they're going to see a reduction Mm -hmm. and the amount of solid waste that they need to put out to the curb. So they may find they don't need a second can. Right. Uh, however, second cans will be available. Again, you call the 1866 number and request it. Uh, second cans just simply aren't going to be immediately available. Right. We have some un large undertakings here, getting all the initial uh, trash bins out there. Uh, then we have the recycling uh, program the, that will kick off August 1st. Uh, we want to make sure we handle those things correctly. Sure. So there may be a minor inconvenience, but uh, we're hoping uh, the community will see an overall improvement. Okay. And we'll talk about that recycling program in just a moment. But uh, one of the things to remember with that program is you're going to receive a 65-gallon rolling cart, not just a little container, not a little tub, as, as many people have used for the recycling programs in the past and a lot of cities still use, people are going to get a substantial container for which to put their recycling in. Yes, and um, the question has been asked uh, why uh, both, both cans will be the same color. Mm -hmm. They will be a, a Garden City green, yes. bearing a Garden City logo. Uh, the, the fact is the color really doesn't matter it is because the larger can will be for your solid waste, the 65 gallon can will be for your recycling. Okay. So that's how we will be able to tell the difference and how Rizzo will be able to tell the difference. It's, it's, an, it's a 95 gallon container for your regular trash, which is essentially the same size most people have now. But with Republic, you did, some people did have a smaller second can and that smaller second can is what the recycling will go in for, for Rizzo going forward. Yes, and it, often in communities with curbside recycling, the um, recycling container will be blue right, um, or will be green. We, we just went with an all green because yeah, we're Garden City. And it'll look better, actually. That's right. So let's talk about that since we're there. That won't begin until August 1st, so there is a month transition where we will not have the uh, voluntary curbside recycling available. And let's stress, it's voluntary. That's correct, it is voluntary and you do need to enroll in this. We're not forcing recycling uh, down anybody's throat. Uh, we're encouraging the heck out of it. But you do need to sign up for this program, uh, either by going to the Rizzo website and you will, a couple of clicks and you'll be able to request your recycling bin. Very easily. Or you can call the phone number at 866-772-8900. Very. And, uh, you'll go through a series of prompts there to get yeah. your service. And that's very easy to do. 
And also on the website, on the Rizzo website, either in the newsletter or on the website, there is the list of what is appropriate for recycling, what you can recycle, what you cannot recycle. And again, the assumption is that the average home, everything they take out of the trash stream to put into their recycling will then eliminate possibly the need for a second can. Yes. Okay. That's, that's certainly what, uh, what we anticipate. And that will all begin on August 1st and the delivery of those cans will begin, is scheduled to begin the, uh, the last week of July. That may change, obviously, that's, that's a fluid thing and that's a little ways away, but uh, that's, that's when it is supposed to occur. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Also, don't forget your, if we didn't say it already, your trash day does not change. Nothing along that line changes and composting really doesn't change. No, it doesn't. Uh, one thing that uh, I do want to be sure to point out, this is a change. When you have large items, in the past, you had to call and schedule a pickup. Mm -hmm. Rizzo does not require that. Put out your items on trash day, and they will be picked up. And items, plural, also with Republic, you are limited to one item per trash day, and you can put out multiple items with Rizzo also. Yes, we're, we're very pleased with this. That, uh, that was one of the common complaints that uh, we heard from residents in the city uh, it had to do with large item, bulky item pickup and getting it scheduled and then having the, the schedule adhered to. Uh, Rizzo has a program worked out again. This is all part of their just top-notch customer service philosophy that they have. And as we mentioned at the beginning, we're going to run into a, a bump in the road at the end of this week or the beginning of next week already because Independence Day does fall on Monday, the 4th of July. So Rizzo will collect for one day which is this upcoming Friday, and then they will have Monday off, and then they will go Tuesday through Saturday. So that also doesn't change, but I guess it's just, again, it's another challenge for us to deal with. Just, just another challenge, and, and uh, we're, we beg, we beg you to, to use patience. Uh, please be patient with us while we implement this new program. Uh, we're all very excited about it. DPS Director Kevin Roney has worked very hard in putting this together. Uh, and uh, we're just excited about it. Uh, we're excited both about the prospect of uh, a new solid waste hauler in our city and this curbside cycling program has been something citizens have been clamoring for for years and uh, we're trying to do it right. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about, real quickly before we kind of run through everything again, how did we get here? How was it that it was time to bid this out again and look at other companies and, and how did we end up with Rizzo? It, uh, we had been looking first, uh, we had been looking at curbside recycling for a while and the Republic contract with the city for solid waste hauling expires at the end of June, June 30th. So we saw that as an opportunity to go out for bids and include curbside recycling as part of the bid. Uh, the bid process was very competitive. We got some uh, very good bids, but uh, Rizzo came out on top. And then we explored the, the quality of the service that Rizzo has been uh, delivering in other communities uh, and the quality of the equipment. If you've ever seen a bright, shiny red Rizzo truck driving around, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, <clears throat> so the contract was ultimately, ultimately awarded by council uh, to Rizzo and we've had several uh, meetings with Rizzo uh, on an ongoing basis as we get ready to be up and running. Sure. Okay. And and ultimately, the, the difference in price was uh, between what we have now and what we're about to have isn't very large at all, correct? No, it's not at all. Um, it's uh, pretty darn insignificant, actually, considering we're adding uh, quite a service. We, you know, right. We're adding this curbside recycling, which basically is a whole other pickup. And which is not a charge to us, nor is it a charge to the residents. I guess we didn't mention that, but this is free to the residents. It is, it is free to the residents. The residents, because we just uh, executed a new contract, uh, will see a slight increase in the fee that is charged to them on an annual basis. Uh, that is simply because we were operating under a very old contract and some very old fees, and mm -hmm. as, as it was brought into 2016, there was a slight increase, but it is a minor minor increase with a tremendous addition in, to services. Okay, very good. So let's, let's review one more time and this, uh, this program's uh, expiration date will come pretty quick because this information is very timely and very important to this week. So if you have 
Friday, trash pickup. Republic hopefully has already taken away your brown Republic trash can. They uh, and Rizzo, the new company, will shortly, if they haven't already by the time you see this, be delivering you your new green Rizzo trash can. Yes. All right. And then uh, throughout the week, leave your Republic cans out. If they don't happen to get them on that day, I'm sure they will come for them within a day or two. And Rizzo will be bringing you your new can either within two days of, of your old can being taken. So you may have to throw your trash in a plastic bag or whatever for a day. But they also might be bringing it sooner than Republic uh, picks it up. So uh, it just depends on kind of where you fall. And then July 1st, it's Rizzo. Friday, July 1st. Yes. All right. Very good. And, well, and again, to part participate in recycling, please know that you need to enroll. Uh, this is not a subscription. You're not calling up and committing to an additional fee. There is no additional fee for this. Uh, but you do need to enroll because okay. we, we only want those cans going out to sure. homes where they're going to be used. There are some people who have said, I will not recycle. Sure. There is no sense in wasting a can on them. And again, you'll receive one of the 95-gallon trash cans. Uh, and then you can use the phone number that you see behind us or uh, to call to require or to request a second trash can. But that might not come in the first week. That could come a week or two down the road. Yes. All of this information is available either through the city's website, www.gardencitymi.org, which essentially just offers you links to the Rizzo information, or you can go directly to the RizzoServices.com website, where you'll find a Garden City link on the home page there, and that will tell you everything you need to know about this program. And they are the contact point for recycling. They are the contact point for additional carts. Uh, you really you do yourself a favor if you contact them first rather than calling DPS because the DPS is just going to refer it to Rizzo. Correct. Okay, very good. Well, uh, good luck to all of us, huh? <laughs> That's right. All right. That's this special edition of Omni Edition Garden City. Thank you very much for watching. Again, get your Republic cans out. They will be collected, and you'll get your new Rizzo can this week. All right. Thank good night, you. everybody.